Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Mass Effect. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, uh, level myself up here. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and talk to the teammates for our, you know, normal everything that we talk about kind of thing. I'm going to assume Navigator Presley and all the others we can't talk to anyway, so whatever. I prefer gold to silver, you know, for my metal. I figured you'd recommend me for one since I, uh... You sure you want that? If we present you with a medal, you'll end up sitting on stage listening to politicians make speeches for a couple of hours. That's a good point. They probably make me shave, too. I spent the last seven weeks working on this <laughs> No medal's worth that. So, Commander, why don't you tell me why you're really here? I have to go. God, I love Joker so much. He's just like, I'm working the past seven weeks on this baby. No metal worth that. <laughs> and I'm stuck. No. No. Game. Oh, you're kidding me. Ugh! God damn it. I'll go talk to Joker again off camera. That way I can at least have the camera, uh, like, not the camera, but the, uh, dialogue already taken care of, I guess. Alright, we're gonna go talk to the team, you know, do our normal stuff, see everybody's opinions on the mission and whatnot. First, we're gonna go talk to Mr. Stupid Face, Caden. He's going to assume I'm hitting on him when I'm not. We haven't had time together since our last chat. A lot was said. Mm-hmm. And? Something to add, Lieutenant, or are you just breaking in your thesaurus? I don't want to distract you too much. The deeper we get into this mess, the bigger it seems. I'm just looking for a year. That a briefing wasn't the right place to say how ridiculous this is. Seems like every other race in the galaxy is wrapped up in their own problems. They don't want to see what's coming. You can't blame them. Wanting to believe everything will be fine? Sounds like human nature to me. Yeah, I guess some things carry across species well enough. I should remember that after what happened with Vernus. You forgave him? I think you'd carry a grudge over the crap he took from Vernus. Before I met Vernus, I knew as much as any other civilian. Aliens were weird, superior, and tried to tell us what to do. I mean, it's only been 26 years since first contact. That's not a lot of time to understand them. It was Vernus who made me see how human aliens are. They're not different or special. They're jerks and saints, just like us. Hell, by the time I got payback, I didn't even want What to happened? I don't see you snapping very easily. What finally did it? He hurt Rana. Broke her arm. She reached for a glass of water instead of pulling it biotically. She just wanted a drink without getting a nosebleed. You know? Like an idiot, I stood up. Didn't know what I was going to do. Just something. And Vernus lost it. Beat the crap out of me. Kept shouting how they should have bombed us back to the Stone Age. And that's when the knife came up. A military issue talent. Right in my face. I cut loose. Full biotic kick right in the teeth. Almost as strong as I can manage now. You tried to help Rana. You wanted to help a girl you cared for. That's a noble thing. Maybe my intentions were noble, but I... I lost control. I killed him, Shepard. Snapped his neck. They probably could have saved him if they got him to an infirmary quick enough. But they didn't. Caused a stir when they shipped him home. Bot chain was shut down. Kinetics folded a couple of years later. That's funny. I'm not sure which of What about Rana? Was Rana all right? Rana? Yeah. Yeah, she was fine. We never really, uh... We stopped talking Why? after that. I don't understand. Rana had a gentle heart. She loved everyone. Vernus terrified her. We all protected her from him. And everyone... Everyone loved her. But after what I did to him, she was terrified of me, too. Anyway, this is, um... I had a point here. Aliens 
are individuals. Just because one's an ass doesn't mean they all are. So, yeah, I hated that Turian, but, but he wasn't a Turian to me. He was I'm glad you think that. And here I was concerned you were damaged goods. Well, I've got a few scratches and dents. Hope they just give me character. I don't think we'll be operating without support for much longer. Pretty soon, not even the council will be able to ignore what's going on. Glad you'll be here when it's over, Shepard. I'm, uh... <laughs> I'm looking forward to some short... Looking for personal input. Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? I've wasted enough of your time for now, Commander. We'll have time Tactical for personal appraisal? briefings later. What's your opinion on the last mission? Dr. Tassoni. She seems nice enough. I mean, if you like the bookish sort. Do you? Any intentions there, Lieutenant? None, Commander. I prefer adventurous women. We'll talk uh -huh. later. Huh. Um, like right. Whatever. Leave me alone. Creeper. Can't I go through one time without someone hitting on me? Please? Please? Liara? Please don't. Commander, I was worried. To check up on uh, actually, are you okay? You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. She's the best. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I never properly thanked you for saving me from the Geth, Commander. If you don't mention shown it, up, I... I'm just glad we got there in time. So am I. I know you took a chance bringing me aboard this ship. I have seen the way your crew looks at me. They do not trust me. But I am not like Benezia. I will do whatever I can to help you stop Saren. I know. I promise. Don't worry, Liara. I trust you. I know you won't let me down. It means a lot to hear you say that, Commander. Thank you. Benezia. Do you know why Benezia joined up with Saren? Benezia was swept up in events beyond her control, and lost herself. She fell under the spell of indoctrination and became part of the very thing she wanted to stop. But I will remember and honor how she lived, not how she died. My mother was strong, kind, and beautiful. And now I'm she's sorry. Gone. Are you gonna be okay? You are kind to ask, Shepard. I do miss her, and I grieve for what happened to her. But I will not let my grief interfere with what we are trying to... Asari accomplish. culture. I'd like to know more about the Asari. We were the first species to discover the Citadel. We were instrumental in forming the Council. And we always strive to be the voice of peaceful cooperation in galactic disputes. My people believe we are all part of a single galactic community. Each species contributes something to the greater whole. Although we seek to understand other species, it seems few of them seek to understand us. The galaxy is filled with rumors and misinformation rumors. about my people. Like what? Most of the inaccuracies are centered around our mating rituals. My species is monogendered. Male and female have no real meaning for us. We still require a partner to reproduce. This second parent, however, may be of any species and any gender. How is that possible? I don't understand. Your species can mate with anyone? Mating is not quite the proper term. Not as you understand it. Physical contact may or may not be involved. But it is not an essential element of the Union. The true connection is mental. Our physiology allows us to meld with other beings. We can touch the very depths of their minds. We explore the genetic memory of their species. We share the most basic elements of their individual and racial identities. We then pass these traits on to our daughters. It is how we learn to grow as a species and how we develop a greater understanding of other What about races. the other parent? What happens to your partner after the union? Every relationship is different. Some unions are a single encounter with both parents parting ways afterwards. Others can be more long term. Sometimes an Asari and her partner will stay together for many decades. Who were, what about the age difference? You Asari live for a thousand years. What happens when your partner dies? Few sapient species live as long as my kind. We have learned to take a philosophical approach to our unions. We do not focus on the inevitable loss of our partners. Instead, we enjoy the time we spend with them. And even after they're gone, 
A part of them lives on in us. The union is a connection that transcends both time and who space. Who was your father? Do you know who Matriarch Venezia chose as her partner? She rarely spoke of her partner. Though I know my father, if you want to use that term, was another Asari. You can do that? I thought you always needed another species to serve as one of the parents. Think about it, Shepard. If we were not able to mate with our own species, we would have died out long before we ever mastered space flight and left our home world. Union with our own kind is no longer common. Not for the purposes of reproduction. Most Asari believe it weakens our species. Asari daughters inherit racial traits from the father species. If both parents are Asari, then nothing has been gained. Or so conventional wisdom would hold. I am what is sometimes called a pure blood. Though no Asari would ever be cruel enough to say the word to my face, it is a great insult among my people. It is possible Benezia's partner was embarrassed by their union. She may have been too ashamed to publicly acknowledge You don't know that. Offspring. Maybe she wanted to meet you but couldn't. Something could have happened to her. Maybe she passed away. You might be right. I hope you are. But I have no way to know for sure. Venezia never spoke of her partner. Whatever happened, it caused her too much pain to dwell on it. She raised me by herself, though that is not uncommon. Many Asari raise their children alone, particularly if the father species is short-lived. Often the partner will pass on long before the child reaches maturity. Goodbye. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Right, that was, um, stuff on the Asari. Pretty interesting stuff there. And I'm gonna go downstairs and check on Garrus. See how he's doing. Rex and Ashley and Tully. Yep. <sighs> I'm kind of annoyed, like, how... Tali doesn't really get to talk about much in this game because she's a really cool character. She's actually one of my favorites. She's my favorite female character in the Mass Effect universe. Besides, you know, Commander Shepard. But Commander Shepard can be either, so. Commander, I. What's what the matter? Something bothering you? It's Sarah. I'm starting to wonder whether we'll ever find. He's always one step ahead of us, and he's got those damn gas. You think he'll get away? We're getting close, Garrus. We'll find him. I wish I had your confidence. I just can't stand the thought of him getting away with everything he's done. I know you're doing everything you can, and if anyone can catch him, it's you, but... If there's anything else I can do to help, anything, just tell me what you want me to do, and I'll do Are it. Are you worried? I understand your concern, but we will find him. Just make sure you're ready to go when we do. Yes, ma'am. You can count on me. Thanks for hearing me out. I appreciate it. Can I ask you something, Command? Of course. What is it? Are you worried that the Council might be protecting Sarah? I mean, they were really dragging their heels before. What if we find him, bring him back to the Citadel, and they refuse to act? It's possible. You seem to have some thoughts on this. Speak your mind, Garrus. Well, maybe we shouldn't give them the chance, Command. In my opinion, Saren's too dangerous to be kept alive. Too much could happen. He could escape, or the Council might let him go. If we find him, when we find him, I say we make sure we stop him. Last resort. If Saren won't listen to reason, if he forces my hand, I'll kill him in a heartbeat. But only if it's absolutely necessary. But what's the point in keeping him alive? It just gives him an opportunity to escape, or convince the Council to listen to him. And what about the Geth? They Think about it. it! We know more about Saren's plans than anyone, but what do we really know? If we just kill him, we lose the chance to find out. Yeah, I see your point. Do you really <laughs> think there's more to know, other than the fact that he's a raving lunatic? Maybe, maybe not. But it's not a chance I'm willing to take. Yes, ma'am. Ah, I love Garrus. Commander? How are we doing? What's your opinion of the last mission? Not sure I buy Dr. Tassoni's story about her and her mom not talking. They're I believe her. I think she's being straight with us. Or at least I don't think she lies very often. Yeah, she doesn't look like the type yeah, who lies a lot. She's probably really bad at it. Too bad those ruins got destroyed. I mean, they lasted thousands of years. Can we talk? Do you have a few minutes to talk? One-on-one? -on -one? I'm off duty until tomorrow. I was gonna have a small drink. 
Bit of a celebration. If you're interested. Occasion! What's the occasion? It's Armistice Day, when the first contact war ended. My family always marks it. Since I'm the only Williams aboard, I thought I'd ask you. I'm flattered. Seems like an odd thing to celebrate. That was 26 years ago. In our family, it's not really a celebration, more like an obligation. Don't tell me you don't know about my family. My commanders always find out. Your Can files are clean. There's almost nothing in your files. Technical scores and a list of crap assignments. There's a reason for the crap assignments. I'm General Williams' granddaughter, the commander of the Shanxi garrison in the war. The only human ever to surrender to an alien race. Now I understand. I see. That's why you drive yourself so hard. A Williams has to be better than the best, if only to avoid suspicion. That's what my dad told me the night before he retired. It takes a special kind of thick-headed to march into a job where your family's blacklisted. <laughs> I did it anyway. I'm not gonna let our name go down with Arnold and Quisling. Granddad deserves better than that. Grandfather. What happened to your grandfather after the war? He was relieved of command as soon as Shan Shi was liberated. They brought him back to Earth in irons, but there was never a trial. They quietly demoted him and stuck him behind a desk. He retired a year later and spent the rest of his life working construction in the colonies. Sometimes we hear about attempts to get him exonerated in some official way. Nothing ever Shang Shi. As I recall, your grandfather held out for a long time. The Turians wrecked the orbitals in the first wave and occupied the major cities. They sat in orbit, dropping rocks on anything that moved. Granddad dispersed the troops. But when they went into the cities for supplies, the Turians would wreck a block to eliminate one fire team. Civilians were dying, his troops were starving, and he couldn't contact Alliance High Command. So he You deserve better. Reason. He refused to sacrifice his men just to save face for humanity. You planning to throw yourself on a sword to save face for him? Would it make a difference? He's gone now. Dad's gone too. And who would it impress? I'll never be good enough for the Alliance. So now you know. Gonna kick me off the ship, Skipper? We need you. You're a valuable part of my crew, Williams. If I want an opinion from the head, I go to Elenko. When I want one from the heart, I go to you. I also play a mean game of pool. <laughs> but anyway, I've got things to do before we land. I'm Goodbye. sure you do too. Dismissed. Please. I do like Ashley. Ma'am. A bit more than I like, uh... Well, definitely a bit more than I like Caden. Shepard. Personal inquiry. So you'd rather be a merc than help your people? I'm a fighter. It's what so? I do. So? Aren't you at all worried about what will happen to the Krogan? What the hell do you want me to do about it, Shepard? I'm tired of sticking my ass on the line and getting That's up your reason? It. So you're just giving up on your people? I gave up on fighting for a lost cause. I'm no hero, Shepard. Bottom line, killing for credits sometimes things. You ever think about helping your people? I try not to. But there's a lot of Krogan mercs out there. I'm always running into them. Half the time I'm being paid to kill them. But that's just part of the job. You don't get to pick who your enemies are. Mercenary. How long have you been a merc? Long enough. I took my first contract right after I left my home system. It's good work, but doesn't kill you. You like it, then? I get the feeling you enjoy your work. Sure. You get to see the galaxy on someone else's credits. And most days end with a good fight. I've tried more organized fighting private armies and such, but it gets too messy. I fight best on my own, or in very small groups. I don't like people and I bloody well. Me, <laughs> and I bloody well don't like relying Anybody else hear that in a British voice? I see. On, Shepard. Shepard. Right. That's a little bit more information on Rex. Feels like we're getting near the end, doesn't it, Shepard? I hope so. It won't be much longer. One way or another, it'll all be over soon. You'll find the conduit before he does. I know you will. You have to. And after this is all over, when my pilgrimage ends and I go back to my own people, I'll be proud to say I'm an important part. part.
We couldn't have done this without you, Tally. You've been good to me. A lot of people treat Quarians like second-class citizens. They just want us to go back to our fleet and disappear. But you've treated me just like everyone else on your crew. Like an equal. That means a lot, and it says something about you. Whatever happens, I just want to say You're thank welcome. you for that. I'm gonna miss you when you go back to your own people, Tally. That won't happen for a while yet. I'll be right here anytime you all right. need me. Alright, that's all we can ask I her about. Go. See you later. Alright! That was Tali. Alright everybody, I'm gonna see you uh, next time as we go do our DLC. And, you know, do the random stuff that we need to do, I guess. Oh well. Uh, I'm Nexi on Alex, and this is Mass Effect. Uh, if you guys like my videos, I would really appreciate a like, thumbs up, which I'm gonna call it comment, view, subscription, I don't care. Any form of even constructive criticism is very nice, as long as I, uh, it makes me happy, especially if I get a comment. Comments just make my heart flutter. Anyways, I'm Nexi on Alex, and this is Mass Effect. I'll see you all next time as we go to our DLC mission, Bring Down the Sky. Alright, I'll see you all later. Bye.